If you have a Galaxy device running Android 10, you may be happy to hear that the GoodLock 2020 update has finally arrived and it now supports One UI 2.0. If you don't know what GoodLock is, it's a Samsung app found within the Galaxy Store that allows you to modify different aspects of the UI. So if you want to change the look of your quick settings panel, you can do that. If you want a different scrolling animation within the recent menu, you got it. Personalize your phone's sound, change the look of the clock face, and a lot more. But today I'm not here to talk about every feature found within this app. Instead, I'm just going to tell you what's new in the 2020 update. So first off, Good Luck finally has a dark theme and it gets enabled when you turn on dark mode within the system settings. On top of that, it has a new splash screen when you open the app. But other than that, the app looks exactly the same. Most of the big changes are found within the individual modules. By the way, Navstar and Lockstar are the only ones that aren't currently working. The module called Routines is now part of Bixby. Clock Face, Edge Lighting Plus, and Edge Touch don't really get any significant changes like the rest of the modules do. And Sound Assistant won't be updated with any new features until the end of February. Anyways, let's start it off with Quick Star. This module allows you to customize the Quick Settings panel, and with this huge update, the color segmentation and transparency have been improved, and you can now center the clock in the status bar, unless if you have a hole punch in the middle, like on the Galaxy Note 10. Task Changer for the Reasons menu has a new layout called Vertical Stack. It's a throwback to the Reasons page found on Android 8.0 Lollipop. Multi Star to customize the multi window mode has gotten a ton new changes. First off, you can now quickly launch any app into split screen mode or open it in pop up view by just long pressing on the Reasons key, assuming you still use the three button nav bar. I tried to do this with the gesture navigation and it didn't work. There's a new toggle called the Long Live app. I'm not 100% sure what this does since the description isn't extremely clear, but I'm assuming that you get to choose one app that does not get killed when you exit multi-window mode. You can also customize the gesture size from when you switch from a full screen app to window mode. And apparently pop up view can now remember where you left off, but I couldn't get that to work. And there's also a new option that prevents you from minimizing the pop up view, but that also didn't seem to work either for me. Lastly, multi-sound has been moved to Sound Assistant, but like I said before, Sound Assistant won't receive any future updates until the end of this month. Noti Star, which is a notification management tool, has finally gotten a feature that makes the app usable. It now shows you an icon within the lock screen so you can know where to swipe from to bring up all your past notifications. Before you had to guess where the trigger area was and it was never made clear where you had to swipe up from in the first place. Plus, you can customize the button and choose where to place it on the lock screen now. Theme Park, the module used to theme the overall UI based on the colors of your wallpaper, now supports dark mode theming. So before, if you had a dark wallpaper and you tried to use it within Theme Park, it wouldn't darken the background of any app as well. Instead, it would just change smaller elements within the app to black and keep the background pure white. On top of that, you can now customize the colors and choose different color styles. One Hand Operation Plus makes it easier to control your Galaxy phone with just one hand. With the 2020 update, you can change the color of the curved line animation, and it now supports a few more actions that can be brought up when swiping on the handle. For example, you can quickly launch any app shortcut. You can also bring up a menu with all your recently used apps and switch between them when you enable the task switcher. And Quick Tools brings up a menu to quickly toggle system settings. Finally, Nice Catch, which keeps a history of everything, has a new setting that keeps track of all the changes you made within the system settings. Anyways, those are all the new changes found within the Good Luck 2020 update. I'll drop a link in the description to download the update from APK Mirror if you didn't yet receive it within the Galaxy Store. If you enjoyed this quick video, do me a favor and drop a huge thumbs up. Get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. Make sure to check out How To Men In Español, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!